I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. We discovered something new on August 21st, 2017, when someone in our household realized that an everyday item, a colander, could double as an eclipse viewing tool. We demonstrated this technique during the solar eclipse at that time, and you can find the YouTube link in the video description below. Now, October 14th, 2023, is a date marked by another celestial event, an annular solar eclipse. This kind of eclipse presents us with a remarkable sight. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon appears slightly smaller than the sun, creating a ring-like effect as the moon covers the sun's center. Today, we're attempting to determine the perfect pinhole size. Watch closely as we explore the holes in the last row of this template, ranging from 1 quarter inch to 1 16th inch. We've discovered that other shapes and objects don't perform as well, and larger holes need to be placed farther from the display for the best results. If you're considering building your own pinhole camera in a dark box, there are three key factors to keep in mind for capturing the best images. Firstly, the size of the pinhole plays a crucial role. A smaller hole yields sharper images, but it also dims the image. Striking the right balance between size and clarity is essential. Secondly, the pinhole must be perfectly round to ensure the best results. And thirdly, the material used for the pinhole should be thin. However, it's important to note that while these principles apply to creating cameras, our goal here is different. We're not aiming for scientific precision, we're seeking to achieve a visual representation of the eclipse. As the sun's brilliance is ample and its edges are naturally sharp, we've opted for relatively larger pinhole sizes to capture the eclipse's essence. We've brought along two colanders for this experiment. The larger colander has holes of 5 30 seconds of an inch, while the smaller one features holes of 9 64ths of an inch. Both have proven to be effective tools for witnessing the eclipse. Now, let's observe as time unfolds and the eclipse progresses. In our local area, the partial eclipse was expected to begin at 8.03 a.m., reach its peak at 9.20 a.m., and conclude at 10.43 a.m. However, as any eclipse enthusiast knows, there are subtle patterns that emerge around half an hour before and after these times. As the moon shifts away from the center of the sun, you'll notice a gradual okay, so shift in the moon's shadow. It moves moon away from the center here and towards one side. Uh, right now, it's 9.44 a.m. and the change is evident. Uh, I see a little bit. Yeah. Okay, start. So what time is it now? Um, I didn't bring my phone. It's probably about 9.44. Okay. You can see here that, that the circle is no longer right. a full circle, that there is a small sliver and, uh, out of it on one side. This small. is showing you We're the partial eclipse, and you can also see this that this is clear with the smaller pinholes, but does not show in the largest this pinholes. We fast forward to 9.55 a.m., and you can see that only a small black edge of the moon remains, covering only a small segment of the sun now. And the light that surrounds us, that had dimmed during the peak of the eclipse, has returned to a nearly normal level. Although opportunities are infrequent, eclipse viewing remains a special pastime for many, as it is a reminder of the wonders that remain in the sky beyond us, the beauty and precision of the cosmos. We hope you've enjoyed this unique perspective on today's annular solar eclipse, and seen how simple tools that you already have, like the colander, can be put to new uses. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore the universe with us. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up. Well, it depends on the angle you hold the colander at. You hold it at some other angle, it might just show full circles, right? No. No? Okay. See, let's see whether it was so... The moon is moved away. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.